Okay. Hi, this is Michael Menduno from Oztec TV, and I'm here with an old friend of mine, J.P. Ambert, a decompression and diving research engineer. Um, you know, most people, it's interesting, most people will, um, from the, if they remember their early dive classes, they'll know that uh, our knowledge of DCS or awareness of it came out of the early caisson workers that Haldane had to create tables for. What probably most people don't know is that today is some of the cutting edge of decompression tables. Uh, is for uh, deep tunneling work, uh, building bridges and building roads and tunnels deep down. And they're even needing to stop using deep air and go to Trimix. Uh, tell us a little bit about that and how you got involved in that, JP. Uh, just by chance. Um, I come from the offshore industry. I thought I was quite comfortable into it. But recently, you know, the world has changed. The city are congested, traffic jams. So the only solution is to dig. So large cities around the world are digging for highways, subway, water supply, sewage. So these big machines are drilling. But, uh, and they're they, deep, right? I mean, it's pretty deep down. Uh, depending on, uh, on the water depth, you have to, right. to, to go. So uh, in order to prevent the water ingress, you have to pressurize the, the cutting machine. And uh, when you want to maintain or repair or change the part, you have to go under pressure. Uh, the name is different, it's not diving, it's hyperbaric intervention, but the problem is the same. Yeah. You need to decompress safely. Because they're on a helium, you put them on a trimix of some sort. For uh, the, historically, the, the industry starts uh, simple with on air. Deep air. Because it was enough, the uh -huh. depth was shallow. And as uh -huh. you go any deeper and you want to do hard work, you, know, you need a full range of the technology. So they're now into mix. And they're also now into saturation diving because oh, wow. they need time. Wow, amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because, yeah, before we use a bell that was lower into the sea. <laughs> now we use a chamber which is uh, lower into a truck. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, you, and these are some of the first tables that you've created for this purpose, for these workers. Well, you cannot transfer the technology of the offshore industry to the tunnel is different. Uh, mm. It's very hard, a lot of heavy, and you need, you need to take precautions. Mm. So you have to learn how to uh, take a margin. Mm. And is, so you need uh, data, you need new knowledge, and you have to blend it into new decompression procedures. Uh, I, I found your presentation really fascinating and what you've done. You'll be able to watch it, of course, on the on-demand. Let me ask you one other question. We've this is day two now of Oztec. What uh, what have you seen? What presentations that have really gotten you excited? Anything come to mind? All right. Yeah, <laughs> it's been extremely funny to meet people who do the same things for, uh, than you, but for a different reason. Like caver explorer, and they're not reasonable people. You know, <laughs> right, you shouldn't crazy. dive with them. But when you listen to their story, it's so exciting. No? Yeah. Because my world is the world of the industry. Uh, I work on safety assessment. I work on hmm. technology, feasibility, and cost. So there's no room for dreams, <laughs> nor romantic approach to anything. Uh. Well, you've come to the right place for that. Right? Oh, that's fun. <laughs> so we have 42, in addition to JP's presentation, we have 42, 41 other presentations. They're all on demand. Uh, it's uh, $99 US, 147 uh, Aussie dollars. And uh, go to oztech.com.au and uh, you'll find a link to it. Thank you.